One of the most physical captains currently in the game, Jamie Benn has definitely embodied what the franchise was seeking as far as passion and leadership. As Ben, since his NHL debut over a decade ago, has led by example by not only defending teammates when need be, but also by consistently contributing offensively. But throughout his time played in the Lone Star State, Ben, just like any NHL star, has displayed his fair share of jerk moments. In this video, I'm going to go over six times that number 14 has straddled the line on legality. And with that, here are the top six jerk moments from Jamie Ben. Now it's really no surprise that an insistent pest such as Nazem Kadri would be able to get under his opponent's skin from the get-go, but how Ben was able to pull a fast one on the forward was the real Houdini. As the two were in the face-off circle during a regular season game in Toronto in 2015, Ben, who by the latter minutes of the third period had probably lost his patience with Kadri, decided to play a little risque by going below the belt on his opponent unsuspectingly. Kadri, of course, took exception to the spear as the two jawed back and forth while separated by the official. No penalties were given on the play as the puck was redropped like nothing happened. Like I said, a magician. A lot of times when things aren't going your way, it's typical to try and stir the pot. But as the Stars were down 4-1 to one at the mercy of the Winnipeg Jets last season, Ben was trying his best to get something extracurricular going post-whistle. As play was stopped in the Stars' zone, Ben decided to subtly get Ehlers' attention by giving him a tap as he skated by. Ehlers, who hasn't shied away from physicality, decided to defend himself by giving the Stars' captain a retaliatory slash. Ben, who almost played college baseball prior to his draft day, then decided to hone his batting skills by taking a baseball-like swing at the Danish forward. A batter batter batter. Anyone? Anyone? No. Oh, okay. So maybe these plays initially come off as classless, but coincidence or not, after being down 3-1 to one to the Anaheim Ducks, something started a comeback. Not saying taking a run at a guy after the whistle is the best way to go, but hey, something got this team going. But before the Stars would go on to score three more, after being down 3-1, Jamie Benn decided to low-key bulldoze his opponent, Andrew Cogliano, post-whistle. And as you would expect, Cogliano's teammates didn't like that very much, as they immediately came to the forward's aid. For his actions, Ben was granted a short stay in the box, and since the two are now teammates, it's most likely water under the bridge. Now, if you're watching this while the Stanley Cup Finals are still going on, then this definitely makes things interesting. As typically, when a guy goes out of his way to deliver a bone-crushing check and literally skates away, leaving you injured, well, it's probably not forgotten. In the remaining minutes during the middle frame of play, Ben, who could be shown coming across the ice, making a special trip just to greet Victor Hedman, decided to do so in memorable fashion. As the defenseman was attempting to carry the puck into the star zone, Ben could be shown going at Hedman not in a malicious way, but the hit did cause his neck to obviously snap back on the play. And into the boards. Hedman, who had missed 14 contests due to concussion issues prior, immediately left the playing surface and didn't return. And due to the audible change from the fans aimed at the official, I'm guessing there was no call made on the play. This handles the puck right there, so it's a split second. He was staring at the puck and didn't realize Ben was coming in. Ben was locked on. There wasn't anything about the last hit itself that initially looked bad, other than the fact that Ben basically charged at Hedman, hence the ranking. But this hit, eh, that's a different story entirely. Then way through the second period in Dallas, during the remaining seconds of a 4-on-4, four four, Ben not only hits Oliver Eggman Larson from behind, but also leaves his feet while doing so. The hit automatically incapacitated Arizona's captain, who could be shown wincing in pain while lying in a fetal position. Ben, for his actions, was ejected immediately from the contest upon receiving eight game misconduct and a five minute major. Eggman Larson, who after being helped to the locker room, eventually returned for the start of the third period. One lesson to be learned here. If you're playing the Dallas Stars and Jamie Benn's on the ice, 
never go after the goalie, or you'll most likely regret it. Just like this guy, Ryan Jones did. Shortly before the Stars pulled their netminder with four minutes left in the contest, Jones, who accidentally or not made contact with Lettinen, decided to give him a love tap afterwards. But with the pushback was Jamie Benn, who saw the interaction, comes flying off the bench with vengeance in mind. The captain could be shown blatantly cross-checking Jones in the back, which caused him to drop to the ice instantaneously. Jones, who laid lifeless for several seconds, eventually gathered himself, as Ben was dealt a game misconduct and a five-minute major in result. The captain was also met with supplemental discipline as he was fined $10,000.